Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a review for you on this Bon Ami Powder Cleanser. This is supposed to be similar to a Comet or Ajax cleanser, but it is supposed to be a natural cleanser made from, I believe, baking soda and like minerals and rocks and stuff. Maybe not rocks, but uh, different minerals and things like that. It says that it's hypoallergenic no chlorine, perfume, or dye. Uh, it doesn't scratch, and this has been around a very long time, maybe even longer than Comet, but I'm not sure. I have, it's open, so I have used this twice before. This will be the third time, just so that I could um, give you guys a really accurate review. And I also have made my sink very, very dirty so that we can really see how this product works so got all kind of nasty stuff and we are going to give this a try and see how well it works okay so I'm going to be using a sponge I'm going to just wet it and I'm going to use this exactly how I would use Comet or Ajax so I'm going to wet my sponge with some warm water and actually, matter of fact, I'm not going to squeeze it all out because I'm going to wet the surfaces of the sink just a little bit. And then I'm just going to sprinkle the cleanser all over. And I'm not going to use too much like I would if I was making an ASMR video. I'm just going to use like what probably a normal person would use in their everyday cleaning routines. So, yep, not too much. Let's see how that works. And I believe that this cleanser is more expensive than uh, Comet or Ajax, but I'm not positive. I'm gonna rip this sticker off the rest of the way. Um, yeah, I think this is more expensive, and I've only ever been able to find it in these little small 14-ounce uh, cans. They may have bigger ones, I'm not sure, but um, I can't remember exactly how much this was, but if I can find it online, I will uh, list the price below for you guys as well. So, I'm going to try to... Um, do this review as quickly as possible because I know some people that watch this probably aren't into ASMR and um, so I'm not going to show me scrubbing the whole sink down. I'll just show a few clips of it and then I will cut and come back with the result. So as always I'm going to start with the tap, the faucet if you will, um, and the handles and then I will get to the sink. So at first I'm not noticing any suds or anything. Alright, so I'm going to scrub a little bit more and then I'll be right back. Okay, so this, this side of the sink has um, cleaned up really nicely. I'm just going to show you guys... Uh, some of the scrubbing on the other side to show you how easily this is actually coming off. Um, here's a bunch right here, so look at that. I mean, that's actually coming, I'm, I'm not putting much pressure at all either. And it is coming off very nicely. Um, as far as suds go, <coughs> excuse me, I've said this quite a few times and I'm going to say it again. I know that suds do not um, if it has a lot of suds, it doesn't mean that it's cleaning better, but I just like suds. Um, I like to see them when I clean. This doesn't make a lot of suds. Um, well, it hasn't so far. Maybe if I use a bit more water or a bit more cleanser, it will, because see it's starting to suds up a little bit. I'm thinking that once I get into the actual sink, it may, uh, show me some more suds because there will be more product and more water 
But I mean, that was pretty easy. I didn't really have to use any elbow grease or apply any pressure, and it just literally came right off. So I'm gonna do the inside of the sink, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the only thing I'm having to scrub a little harder is my drain. Um, usually Comet or Ajax would get this pretty clean pretty quickly, but I, it's pretty much done now, but I did have to scrub a little bit harder for that. So, just something to note. I've also noticed that the more water you add, the more suds you get. So if you like suds, just add a bit more water and you will get some foam. So I'm going to rinse this and then I will be back. This is what we got going on so far. Already looks pretty clean, but it does need to be rinsed. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay guys, so here is the end result. Um, it is still wet because I wanted to show you how it looks without me doing anything else like drying or buffing it. The faucet is actually drying really well. I don't think it's going to dry with any watermarks on it or anything. I don't even think I'm going to have to buff it. Uh, I did get the drain clean. Um, it took off every bit of muck that was on my sink the faucets look good and yeah i'm really happy with it now i did want to tell you about the smell because i forgot to mention that earlier um it doesn't really have much of a scent to it at all it pretty much if you smell anything you're going to smell the baking soda in it but it's very faint like it's it's not overpowering at all like um I really don't like the smell of baking soda and it didn't bother me so um, and you don't smell it like the whole time I just got a whiff of it here and there but other than that I didn't really smell anything um, so yeah this if you are looking it feels I'm sorry I'm jumping all over the place it feels similar in texture to Comet and Ajax um, and it works just as well in my opinion and if you're looking for a natural alternative to using one of those, uh, I think that this is a great alternative. Um, so once again, this is the Bon Ami Powder Cleanser. I found this at a grocery store, but I believe you can get it at Target. I've never seen it at Walmart. Um, but like I said, I will try to link it below and I will also put the price. Um, I don't think it was more than $2, but I don't remember. Um, but yeah, I got a bunch of new products the other day that I want to review for you guys. So you will be seeing quite a few more reviews coming up soon. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.